Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading. What messages do you have here for Taurus? Okay, I'm getting some in regards to like, uh, you have a lot of blessings coming in for you here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. But I'm also getting some in regards to like, an uh, increase in regards to your finances. What's going on here with Taurus? Okay, you could have been up in your head in the past worried about money, but something is about to increase for you or something that you've been waiting on. This is like wish fulfillment. I'm also getting something in regards to like you fulfilling a shipment or something like that. So like if you have a store or anything like that, like you are about to start receiving a lot of orders. What's going on here with Taurus? yeah wow <laughs> a lot of orders i'm getting like you are about to be like you're going to be handling a lot of money or something like that or a lot of orders and a lot of money or something like that here taurus if you were worried about money here in the past uh i'm getting like yeah get out of your head trust the process things are working out for you or if you're doing something new like Maybe it's moving slow, but it's going to pick up. You're going to be very happy. I'm really getting this as wish fulfillment here for you. That's what I'm getting, Taurus. Wow. I'm getting like... You may have people that try to come back around to you here as well. So be mindful in regards to that, Taurus. Somebody's going to try to come back around to you. What's going on here with Taurus? Somebody from your past. Yeah, you might want to be mindful. You have somebody, you can have a masculine energy from your past that's going to try to come back around to you. This is somebody, for some, this is somebody you don't really want to deal with or something like that. Like, But this person regrets how he treated you or something like that. He, she, whoever this individual is... This person could be a male or a female, but this person regrets how they treated you or something. But like, this is somebody that's, yeah. But I'm getting like, Taurus, you are focusing on your pentacles. Like I said, you have a lot of blessings coming in for you. Yep. I'm getting for some, like, you're not, so you're not concerned with like, at this moment, you could be focusing on your pentacles. Like, you're not really concerned with love or you're not really concerned with connecting with this individual here from your past but you have somebody that feels like a fool like somebody has like somebody wants to make an offer to you or something like that like somebody's realizing that they took you for granted here in the past Taurus. but like you're over it that's what i'm getting here but somebody wants to come back around to you or somebody wants, wow, this could be somebody that also like wants your advice, but like you're not focusing on, like you're doing something new or you're going in a different direction. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, like you're over allowing people to take you for granted. What's going on here with Taurus? That's too many. Yeah, I'm getting like, you're about to be very successful, but I'm getting something in regards to like you manifesting or you transmuting some, like you're transmuting the energy here. You could have also been betrayed in the past financially, but like you're turning that around. That's what I'm getting here. Yep, you cannot make this up. Okay, so whoever was involved in betraying you financially could be in regret. And this individual knows that like they took you for granted or they did you wrong or something like that. But like you're you're over this. You're just focusing on like your new projects. You're focusing on whatever this is you're creating. You're making changes. You're making changes in your environment. You're making changes within yourself. That's what I'm getting. Like you're focusing on moving forward and growing. That's what I'm getting here, Taurus. But somebody really regrets how they did you or really regrets how they treated you. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry. I had to fix the camera. That was crooked and it was really throwing me off. Okay, what's going on here? 
Yeah, then I say like you're moving forward from some type of betrayal. Like you're not hung up on it. You're not worried about it. You know, whatever it is, what it is. But somebody is in regret in regards to how they did you. Like somebody really regrets something that they did to you. It could also be like if you had somebody that betrayed you. This person thought that like betraying you would like. I don't know. This person thought that betraying you would make you like. I don't know. This is. I'm getting you let go of this and you're moving forward. That's what I'm getting. But somebody, this person, like, did something underhanded to you. Yep. You had somebody that did something underhanded to you, but, like, you don't care what the reason is for it. You're over it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like, you could care less. You're like, okay, whatever. You're over it. You just want to move forward. So if you're doing something new, it's going to be very lucrative. I'm getting like you are taking your cups, you're taking your energy. You could be somebody like you're a very loving person. You're a very compassionate person. You're always like showing up for other people. You always want to help people. But like you're no longer in that energy of like overextending yourself or overgiving. This is you putting that love and energy into yourself as well. That's what I'm getting. Because you know that if you can't show up for yourself, you can't show up for anybody else. So this is you like being protective in regards to your energy conserving your energy and putting energy into new projects that's what i'm getting here yep what's going on here yep i'm telling you somebody did yeah somebody collaborated to do something and celebrated i'm also getting somebody could have paid somebody yeah i'm not see i'm not about to keep yeah Somebody did something to you. They thought that it would like destroy you, but it didn't. And somebody like worked together to do this. And like you're moving and doing something different. And now somebody is in regret. Like this is somebody that like misses you after. Like if somebody worked to get you fired or something like that. Like this person misses you after the fact. Like this person like misses how skilled you are or something like that. But like somebody was in their ego at the moment when this individual was working against you to get you fired. Whether or not this person was angry at you. Felt like you were competition, had some type of resentment towards you or all three. Whatever the case may be, this individual did something to betray you. Somebody that's in regret. Somebody that wants to make a move towards you. Somebody that wants to make you some type of offer or something like that. This could even be an apology. Like somebody wants you to come back to work. Like this could also be somebody that like... Somebody just judged you. Somebody didn't like you because somebody else didn't like you or something like that. Or like told this person not to like you. So this individual work with somebody to like try to get you fired or something like that here at work. Could be some type of betrayal. Somebody wants you to come back to work. Or somebody now wants to treat you fairly after betraying you but you're over it. Like you're over it. Like maybe you don't want to work in this work environment anymore. Or you want to go in a different direction. Maybe you could be still working in the same field but you want to do something in a different way. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. I'm really getting like, this person is going to appreciate you after the fact. That's what I'm getting here, after the fact. Yep. Yep, we have We the Hathors. We have You're Not For Everyone. For some, somebody just didn't like you. Somebody was like very immature. Like instead of like not liking you and going on a separate way, this person did something underhanded to you. And like, yeah. And this person was so happy that they did this. But they're going to like regret how they treated you or something like that. Yep, we have weight of the world, boundaries, let it go is not yours to carry. So you're letting this go. That's what I'm getting. You could be revamping something here as well. Something in regards to like you revamping, you're doing something different. That's what I'm getting. You're switching something up, changing something up here. That's what I'm getting. While I'm also getting like you are moving towards like, it's something in regards to you being in your life purpose here. Some type of betrayal actually is pushing you towards your life purpose. So if somebody did something underhanded to like get you fired, maybe you could have been up in your head worried about money here in the past. So you did not see how this was actually pushing you towards your life purpose. But I'm getting like there's going to be like a series of events in regards to something that you do. Like you're going to start doing new things, different things. And the more you 
like test new things it's going to push you towards your life purpose that's what i'm getting here so like don't worry if you've been worried about money don't worry about money trust the process here i'm also getting like make sure you are staying connected to your spirit guides your ancestors i'm also getting like if you have an altar make sure you are not neglecting your altar as well i'm also getting something in regards to like meditation you need to meditate to clear your energy or something in regards to like you need to sit in silence you need to clear your energy clear your mind clear your mind so you can get clarity here at this moment or i'm getting like if you are wanting clarity or seeking clarity like be open to receive the messages that are being given to you because i'm getting like you can have a spirit guide that's like trying to get your attention or trying to get in touch with you but if like you're upset and worried about money at the moment and you could be stressed out it could be stressful when you don't know like how you gonna make ends meet or you know but you have to trust the process but i'm getting that you have a spirit guide that's trying to get your attention i'm getting it something in regards to like you need to meditate you need to meditate you also need to clear out your energy as well make sure you clear your energy make sure when you do meditate you are open your space is clear and you are ready to receive whatever messages or downloads this spirit guy here has for you. That's what I'm getting here. But like you're not seeing something. It's something that you're missing. And it could be because you are trying to like control the situation. Definitely if you're struggling financially, you could be like trying to control the situation. But it's some type of information or downloads here. Yeah. It's something that's hidden something is hidden here yeah i'm also getting something in regards to leo is significant here as well i'm also yeah if you were dealing with some type of fighting or drama at work like somebody wants to end some type of beef or something like that but you've been let this situation go so be mindful in regards to that because somebody may come in trying to apologize in regards to something that you let go of a long time ago but i'm really getting like it's really important that you meditate you really have to meditate but make sure your energy is clear and you are open to receive whatever message this is that's like i'm really getting it something in regards to a download here is very significant and like i said if you're worried about money get out of your head things are going to work out for you in divine timing but i'm gonna end it there best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you